Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, I lied. I said the last Alexandra upload was going to be the last one, but then I saw that the average Gen Xer, and I love her, has uh, reacted. Uh, we were chatting the other day, and she's so lovely. She just really is. I just love her. I quickly give her a thumbs up. And I'm going to watch and react with you guys. All right. Alexandra Rodriguez is my ir irritainment and di oh, a discussion rant. Okay, let's get in. Rich Gen Xer, welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I talk about things that I find interesting and Xer, welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I talk about things that I find interesting and today we are checking back in with and annoying Alexandra Rodriguez and she done had her little baby boy. She gave birth a couple weeks ago and apparently according to her recent vlogs, it was the most normal and lovely of traditional births. Oh, yeah. Um, there was a lot of speculation. If you follow her, you probably know. A lot of people thought she was not actually pregnant. Um, even down to the wire, um, they thought maybe she had the surrogate in the room with her. And yep. they took the baby out of the surrogate and put it on her chest. But Yep, yep. That's the 1%. I agree. That's, that, that's me that said that. After everything I've seen, uh, not that anyone gives a shit what I think, but I think she actually did have the baby. Um, so she mentioned that she did tear a little bit, which most women do. I did not know that most women tear giving birth until I was like 50. Yeah. So that's how little it's talked about. So, uh, she required a couple of stitches, she said, uh, but she did have an epidural, um, when the contractions got to be way too much. And she even took a three hour nap before wake. And she ate during her contractions, so-called contractions. Waking up and pushing for 25 minutes and then bing, bang, boom, there was a baby. So she seemed pretty chill in the footage that she did show. Um, I did kind of surprise me that she showed the actual moment, uh, which is a very intimate moment, you know, where they pull the little baby out and put your newborn on your chest for the first time and she's crying. I mean, it looks uh, real to me. I'm, I'm just going to give her the benefit of the doubt. I have not been following her for years and years and years, like a lot of her followers. So I think that's why, because she is a known liar and she's just very deceptive overall, trying to appear to have the perfect life. Um, that I'm not surprised that people would suspect her to that extreme. Yep. So um, I was surprised she showed that moment of them putting the baby on her chest, but I think it was probably to, you know, like say to the naysayers uh, who thought she did not give birth herself. And then not long after that, the, the baby was born five weeks early. So he is a preemie. Uh, he did not spend any time in the NICU um, and they were leaving the hospital lickety split. And she has now had the easiest bounce back recovery and breastfeeding journey uh, and the perfect husband. And he takes the night shift mm -hmm. so that our princess Pris Alexandra can sleep through the night like no first time mom ever in probably the history of humanity. Um, and their new parent journey is like the greatest thing uh, in the history of humanity. So draw your own conclusions. Anyway, since she's had the baby, it must be said that she has struggled with trying to figure out what direction to take her channel in because I, along with a lot of other people, assumed that because she has wanted to be a mom her whole life, and she has said that she has prayed and prayed and prayed her whole life to be a mom, to have this perfect husband and this perfect baby. Of course, she wanted a girl, but whatever. I'm sure she'll have more since she's really good at doing it, and yeah. it was no big deal. Mm -hmm. um, be interesting. She's trying to figure out what to do with her channel. I thought she was going to be a mom blogger, and um, that is not the case. Uh, with the birth vlog, you know, we got this a little bit of a stern talking to from her husband, who unfortunately now is not working he he stopped working apparently so he can be her manny and her night nurse and <laughs> i love that her manny and uh take care of his baby all night and stay up with the baby all night so that the princess can get her sleep and i guess if she's making that much coin off of youtube that he doesn't have to work i mean good for them you know they're they're the parents so if they can take care of the kid themselves you know like good for him but 
we got this stern talking to from the two of them saying they don't want to show the baby. They, they showed the baby as a newborn and they really don't want to um, make you know money off of having a baby, which is absolutely the right thing to do. Um, and, you know, I have to say, I can feel for her trying to find a way with her content. I'm not even doing this. I don't feel for her at all. Nothing at all. The only thing I feel for her is resentment and disgust. For not even a year. And I'm still trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Alex has been doing YouTube for like 15 years almost. So she did seem like I... It's not that hard. Kelly Strack has done it. It's not that hard. She continues to keep doing her content. She does more makeup stuff. Alex can turn that way if she wants to turn her channel into that way. There's always something to um, to vlog. So I don't feel sorry for her at all. I said to be about to pivot to being a mom vlogger, but now she is struggling to figure out what she wants her channel to be about. Although you can bet that every single post contains a pile of Amazon links for all the <laughs> shit that she buys. Mm -hmm. And therein lies the problem. Yes. Alex makes and has made a really nice paycheck from all of her vlogging affiliate links, blah, blah, influencer, blah, for so long now that she has essentially grown up doing it. And she really doesn't know how to do anything else. I think mm -hmm. she went to cosmetology school and did or did not finish and Didn't did finish. or did not you know, keep her license current. So Didn't. she's never done anything but YouTube other mm -hmm. than work her retail job at Mac back in the day. And vlogging your life on social media has now been around long enough that there are people like Alex who don't know how to do anything else and have had enough success at it that it makes them more money than anything they could do otherwise. Anything else they could do legally, of course. So they have to keep doing it. And I know Alex is always saying how much she loves vlogging and hanging out with her subscribers, but it is still sure. a job. And she just had her first baby. She said how she has prayed and prayed and prayed to be a mom her whole life, and now her dream has come true. And she's got this apparently great husband who takes care of the baby all night so she can sleep. And she has also mentioned in her, you know, kind of as an aside, when when she stops talking about how perfect everything is for a second every once in a while she'll mention how she's a normal mom and she's had the baby blues sometimes and sure. she's had you know her crying and struggling to adapt but she just kind of says it as an offhand remark it's not like she gets on camera while she's crying and shares that with her audience or anything um she talks about how sacred the time between her and her husband and their baby is and she's right right it is. It's totally sacred. Mm -hmm. It's totally, for her, someone who has wanted to be married with a baby her entire life, this is the time to nest in your home. The guy doesn't even have to go to work, so the three of them can be together. They live in this gorgeous house. They have every possible thing they could ever want. They have family around them. So why the Not really. <laughs> if she had a girl, that, that would be everything she wanted. What the fuck is she still online? Because no one would mind if she put out a video after the birth, you know, showing the baby, doing the speech about how they don't want to show the baby, they don't want to be those people that are vlogging every moment of their child's life and making money off of it because that's fucking creepy. Um, that's the right thing to do. Don't put vulnerable kids online who can't give their consent, yada, mm -hmm. yada, yada. Uh, they want to protect him. And that's great. All good. She doesn't really know how much she'll talk about her motherhood journey. I wish fucking everybody, please, just stop using the word journey yes, for please, everything. Yes, please. Please. From your lips to God's ears. She keeps saying she's trying to figure it out. She keeps saying she's hormonal and she's vulnerable. And no doubt you absolutely would be after giving birth. But just say that. Mm -hmm. Say that on your stupid little, oh, here we are, ma and pa and the baby in our perfect house and our perfect life. Say that and then go the fuck away for a while. Go <laughs> on maternity leave. Oh, so she lives this super privileged life, just going from one beach slash target run shopping trip to the next, mm -hmm. you know, from one item of decor to the next, from yep. one triple wick candle that cost $100 to the next. I mean, that is... Her, 200. her life on YouTube. That's her vlogging. And yet she can't take a few weeks off to bond with her baby. Mm -hmm. Just stop worrying about making vlogs. Yep. No because money is too important to her. That's why money is more important to her than her child. But mind if she said I'm going to take a month off for maternity leave and I will see you guys in a month and I hope you're okay with that. 
And everybody would be okay with that. Everyone gets it that she's a real person and they have a new baby. And if she wanted to go away for a while, fuck, I'd throw a fucking parade if she went away. <laughs> but I'll join you. Instead, she is dragging her premature infant, mm-hmm. five weeks early premature infant, and to to home goods, home goods. on camera. Yep. So look at fucking fall decor. Like mm-hmm. anyone cares. I know. And let me tell you, I, I don't watch Alex's content unless I react to it. And I I basically only watch Priscilla and Nella as far as uh, reaction videos. And um, I don't thank you, love. watch them religiously, mm. but I am kind of a Reddit addict. And oh, no. <laughs> the moms of Reddit are collectively losing their entire mind about Alex dragging her two week old premature baby to home goods where she touches everything and touches her nose. Yep. I've mentioned that too, and I don't go on Reddit, but it's common sense. You see her touching everything, she's going to touch her baby. And no doubt then touches the baby, who yep. barely has an immune system. Mm-hmm. It, I I keep seeing post after post on Reddit of all these women saying, why does she want to leave the house? Yep. She went and got her nails done. And, you know, you got to keep that manicure looking good when you just gave birth. It, it's just all very strange. Yep. Um, whether you love vlogging or not, it just seems just tacky and inappropriate Mm -hmm. especially when she does things like has an i'm doing my monthly amazon haul Mm. so she buys all this crap to vlog about and she could be just enjoying foster she's got to foster the dog like being off for a while no doubt she could afford to take a few weeks off to be a new mom right alex I mean, she's got the money for that. Look at that incredible house and all the stuff they have and all the stuff she buys her husband. And she's going home goods and blowing money on decor she doesn't need. Yep. She just had a, a, a decorate my house for fall vlog with six giant plastic tubs mm-hmm. of fall decor. Mm-hmm. It's just unbridled consumerism. Yep. yep. And I don't know what the fucking point is anymore. I really don't know what the point of her content is. And, you know, people might say the same of my content or anybody's content. But she's been doing No, this- not really, because your reaction channel. Reaction channels are different. Sorry. For so long, how many shopping trips can we watch her go on? Yeah. The- people were wanting to see her in her mom journey. And um, I understand that she doesn't want to do that. But we're in this weird in-between place where she kind of, you know, she'll show the baby, but you won't see his face and... And she'll, of course, link all of her, you know, postpartum favorite products. And Absolutely. That's where the coin comes in. You know, she'll put up 5,000 links of shit she didn't even buy. You know, they'll get something for free and she'll post it mm-hmm. online as if it's just, it's just tacky. And it feels because like she's a baby tacky. switch. Not that I want to watch her kid online. No, Nobody wants to watch her kid, but... She's had to do videos, you know, explaining, let's clear this up. Like, I, I never said I was going to be a mommy blogger, you know, even though she monetized every inch of her pregnancy mm-hmm. and every product she found and every snack she ate, you know, she's got to monetize it all. And it just goes in this big circle. Like, she's got to make that money. And so she's got to put all those links and she's got to get the views and she's got to get the likes and all of that stuff. And yet she can't take time off mm-hmm. to be a mom. I mean, people would respect that. Oh, this is so whatever. beautiful. Looking at her beautiful face rather than looking at Alex's face. What the fuck she's doing right now? Hey, guys. Okay, so I'm back with different headphones because the audio was getting kind of weird. Um, and it's a little while uh, afterwards. So I was going to react to what Alex uploaded this afternoon, which is uh, Sunday, September 15th, 2024. Uh, but... I went to look at it, and it's called New Fall Hair Jewelry Haul Cook With Me Memory Vo- Memory Box Vlog. And of course, there's a link to buy the little memory box and links to buy whatever jewelry she's wearing. And and I just can't today. Um, mm. I cannot watch more of her fucking nonsense. So I yeah. want to make this. <laughs> oh, Devon, I know what you I know what you're going through. Trust me, love. It's very painful. That's why it's such a pleasure to see your beautiful face and your stunning eyes than having to look at Heffa. This video more like just a, a rant discussion <laughs> yep. type thing. Uh, if you like that format, let me know. I love it. Love it. Much rather that than seeing her ugly face. 
Uh, but I will react to uh, something of Alex's soon. Uh, if you watch my stuff, you know that I don't strictly do reaction stuff. Anyway, I, I am curious to know what, what people are thinking about this, because Alex is kind of my inter one of my little bits of entertainment that I get. I don't have a TV. I don't watch TV. Um, and I constantly have YouTube on. And so um, she is part of my weekly entertainment. <laughs> and... Uh, I wanted to discuss something because I actually did have a point to, in the beginning. Um, I had a point. I had a, I had a train that was leaving the thought station. And so the situation is that Alex has just taken her viewers through a high risk pregnancy and a surprise early birth. Right. Um, and those are both situations which, which have tension in them at, at the base. Like we're waiting for something to happen. And now since the birth, um, it's basically just she's on there hawking more crap and going to get her hair done and you know, stuff that we have seen and mm -hmm. seen and seen. And I'm sure that there are people out there that just like the repetition of it. But uh, I just wonder how long she can go on like that and still be, you know, making the money she's making. If she's just doing lifestyle content now, then there's no tension there. Mm -hmm. You know, we've seen her get her hair done eight gajillion times who cares mm -hmm. so that's why i think a lot of people are aggravated with her because i have did watch uh, a priscilla p uh, video hello beautiful oh the other day and she was reading the comments and there were so many of alex's like longtime subs who were saying mm -hmm. i'm unsubscribing you know yeah. like yep. this is just selling me stuff and, yep. um people did get invested in her life i guess more you know because all of her people who watch her because they like her, um, knew how how much being pregnant meant to her. And it was a high-risk pregnancy, so we're all on the edge of our seats. So the reason I think that many other people want to uh, keep watching is because the tension of Alex's situation, of her being a lifestyle vlogger or trying to be, when it's so repetitious, mm -hmm. so repetitious, so such rep repetition, um, it's kind of boring. It, it is boring. I can't, it's, I just, it doesn't make me want to watch it anyway. Um, yep. And I wonder how long it can go on if it's just another decor haul every other day. And I realize that it is a bit ridiculous that I or anyone is invested in Alex's life, but the technological age that we live in is fascinating to me. And she's been putting her life out there online for so many years now. And she happened to catch my eye. And uh, so I'm curious to see what happens. So I would be curious to know if uh, you have any thoughts on Alex, uh, her life. Um, I've seen um, moms being really upset that she didn't swaddle the baby when he, and he was in the baby carriage, you know, just kind of rolling around. Um, I'm sure all new moms do get a lot of unwanted advice but Alex does kind of set herself up for that. Yep. Anyway, that's all I got for you today, guys. Um, I will react to one of Alex's videos next week, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Devon. Gorgeous Devon. Okay. So if you guys want to subscribe to her, feel more than welcome to subscribe to her. Average Gen Xer. See so if you've got any comments. I mean, she won't have many because literally it's only been two hours ago. Oh, look, see, I was dying for you to do a video. I love your videos. More, more, more. Same. See, why did you ever, hang on. Hey, did you ever made the MB16 personnel tell them, Chris, if you've done it already, what was your result? Oh, I've got no idea what that is. I will leave her a nice comment on her thing. All right, my friends. All right, I'm really going now. This is it for today. No more Alex. Bye. <laughs>